As the team of Messiah of Israel Ministries were praying, I began sharing the good news with many people. The Lord gave me the Bible verse, 2 Thessalonians 3, verse 3. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Praise the Lord. We know that if God sent us to a place, dangerous or not, the Holy Spirit will protect us. The blood of Yeshua the Messiah will cover us. The Holy Spirit guided me to two men that were standing near a car. As I began to speak to them about the love of God, they both turned to me and said, we need to prepare ourselves for the Sabbath. It's coming in a few days. We don't have time. I asked them a question. Who is the Lord of the Sabbath? They said the Sabbath belongs to the Lord, to God. So I asked them with love and compassion, then why are you glorifying the Sabbath instead of the Sabbath maker? They both looked at me very puzzled and asked me, you're not an Orthodox Jew. What are you doing here? And what do you want from us? Although I was wearing a yarmulke, a head covering, they knew I was not Orthodox, and they confronted me about that. I began to share my life story, how I was an Orthodox Jew, and how I found the truth, and how I glorify the Sabbath maker and not the Sabbath. At that moment, one of the Jews, whose name was Chaim, left the conversation. But the other Jew, by the name of Ronin, stayed. Praise the Lord Yeshua. Ronin was fascinated and hungry for the truth. He asked me more to share about my life and how I felt the presence of God in my life. He wanted to know more. It was clear that he was not happy with his orthodox lifestyle. He then asked me, how can I obtain this relationship with God that you're speaking about? It was time to go to the written word of God. I explained to Runen, the only way to obtain this relationship with God is through his son, the Messiah, by repenting and accepting him into our life. We read Isaiah 53 together. From Isaiah 53, verse 5, Ronen began to shake. He didn't even realize what was happening to him. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We have all, like sheep, gone astray. Each of us has turned his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Ronan turned to me and said, this doesn't sound Jewish to me. I asked Ronan, are we not reading from a Jewish Bible? Ronan was at loss of words. The Holy Spirit was working on him. It was clear that this was a divine appointment. Ronan completely forgot about the preparations for the Sabbath and was fascinated by the written word of God. We read many Bible verses and finally Ronan asked, who is this Messiah? Yeshua, I answered. I gave him the full gospel that Yeshua, the Messiah, died on the cross on the tree for our sins. He rose after three days. He conquered death. And by his blood, if we repent and turn to him, we have full redemption of sins. We have a full relationship with him and eternal life. Right there in the middle of a dangerous Orthodox city, the Shekinah glory was hovering over Ronin. And he said, I want to accept Yeshua. He repented right there and accepted Yeshua, Jesus, as his personal savior. And for this, we give all the glory to the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, al Yehuda, Yeshua HaMashiach. Let's continue to stand together for Ronen and for all who heard the gospel of Yeshua the Messiah. Thank you for standing with us and praying for us and enabling us to preach the gospel right here in Israel. We will not stop preaching the good news of Yeshua the Messiah until all Israel shall be saved. Achikol Israel Ivasha, Romans 11:26. This is Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat saying Shalom from Israel and blessings in the name of Yeshua.